प्रसार भारती अभिलेखा गार की प्रस्तुति सदा बहार सुनहरे दौर का अनमोल खजाना फ्रेंड्स एंड कमरेड्स द लाइट हैज गोन आउट ऑफ आवर लाइव्स एंड देयर इज डार्कनेस एवरीवेयर एंड आई डू नॉट क्वाइट नो व्हाट टू टेल यू एंड हाउ टू से इट आवर बिलवर्ड लीडर बापू एज वी कॉल्ड हिम द फादर ऑफ द नेशन इज नो मोर perhaps i am wrong to say that nevertheless we will not see him again as we have seen him for these many years we will not run to him for advice and seek solace from him and that is a terrible blow not to me only but to millions and millions in this country and it is a little difficult to soften the blow by any advice that i or anyone else can give you the light has gone out i said and yet i was wrong for the light that shone in this country was no ordinary light the light that has illumined this country for these many years will illumine this country for many more years and a thousand years later that light will still be seen in this country and the world will see it and it will give solace to innumerable hearts for that light represented something more than the immediate difficult the immediate present it represented the living truth and the eternal man was with us with his eternal truths reminding us of the right path drawing us from error taking this ancient country to freedom all this has happened there is so much more to do there was so much more for him we could never of course do away with him we could never uh, think that he was unnecessary or that he had done his task but now particularly when we are faced with so many difficulties his not being with us is a blow most terrible to bear a madman has put an end to his life for i can only call him mad who did it and yet there has been enough of poison spread in this country during the past Uh, years and months and this poison has had effect on people's minds we must face this poison we must root out this poison and we must face all the perils that encompass us and face them not madly or or badly but rather in the way that our beloved teacher taught us to face them the first thing to remember now is that no one of us dare misbehave because we are angry we have to behave like strong determined people determined to face all the perils that surround us determined to carry out the mandate that our great teacher and our great leader has given us remembering always that if as i really believe his spirit looks upon us and sees us nothing would displease us so much as to see that we had indulged in unseemly behavior or in violence so we must not do that but that does not mean that we should be weak but rather we should in strength and in unity face all the troubles that are in front of us unity i said we must hold together and all our petty troubles and difficulties and conflicts must be ended in the face of this great disaster that great disaster is a symbol to us to remember of the big things of life and to forget the small things we have thought too much of the small things now the time has come again as in his life in his death he has reminded us of the big things of life the living truth and if we remember that then it will be well with us and well with india may i now tell you the program for tomorrow it was proposed by some friends that mahatma ji's body should be embalmed for a few days to enable millions of people to pay their last homage to him but it was his wish repeatedly expressed that no such thing should happen that this should not be done that he was entirely opposed to any embalming of his body and so we decided that we must follow his wishes in this matter however much others might have wished otherwise and so the cremation will take place tomorrow in delhi city by the side of the jamna river tomorrow morning or all the forenoon at about half past 
The bear will be taken out of Billah house. It will follow a prescribed route and go to the Jamna river. The cremation will take place there at about 4 p.m. The exact place and route will be announced by radio and the press. People in Delhi who wish to pay their last homage will gather, should gather along this route. I would not advise them to come, too many of them, to Birla house, but rather to, get, uh, to gather on both sides of this long route from Birla house to the Jamna river. And I trust that they will remain there in silence without any demonstrations. That is the best way and the most fitting way to pay homage to this great soul. Also tomorrow should be a day of fasting and prayer for all of us. Those who live elsewhere, out of Delhi, in other parts of India, will no doubt wish also to take such part as they can in this last homage. Let them, let, for them also, let this be a day of fasting and prayer. And at the appointed time of cremation, that is 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, people which go, should go to the river or to the sea and offer prayers there. And while we pray, the greatest prayer that we can offer is to pledge ourselves to dedicate, uh, to uh, take the pledge to dedicate ourselves to the truth and to the cause for which this great countryman of ours lived and for which he has died. That is the best prayer that we can offer him and his memory. That is the best prayer that, that we can offer to India and ourselves. Jai Hind.